No. my joy, shouldn't I? Percy! Percy! been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect. Right. Nobody's having nightmares over that. I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. No, thank you. That's a rather inconvenient bit of history. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody.
Are you off your joy, Prue? I mean, you too. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? I did take them. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No, no, leave me alone. No. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Well, I know that we went for their scientific brain to the challenge and we soon discovered that fresh vegetables would cure the problem right away. But, how do you get fresh veg on a quarter boat that's not going to stop for much? Well, James Cook discovered that if he took limes on board, it could cure the sailors. <laughs> There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. What are you waiting for? You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Oh, probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time.
Uh, Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Prudence really did run off, and she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lock. of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? Us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. But I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school.
in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. garden district, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wondered what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. This doesn't give me food poisoning. coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you.
A rose of Gilly? Maybe I could make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. faces. Well, they couldn't stand remembering them. What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Nowhere I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there, we'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? Me medals. From the war. 
I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. <sighs> Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here.
I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive? I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you.
got a sinking feeling. Oh God, this shot. Oh God. Sort of fit. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I don't have a jimmy bar. Can I find stuff to make one with? I'm gonna have to search these bodies for bits and bobs of metal, aren't I? I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet, like. I definitely don't want to crap. <gasps> It's me.
we go. I can find a paracetamoline, pure resublimated dimotoline, the fuel of the future now. So I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. disappear into those bushes. Just relax. Don't question it. something else. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. I 
thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Christ, oh my. Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade. Yes. Well, I. How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. That's outrageous! Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you, or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. Mum, Dad, I've come home. Well, don't you... Now, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pick for a... The bobbies have a thirst on them, you know. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We should have taught in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. 
Oh. Good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. It's all falling apart. The cannot hold. Oh. That's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. Ouches towards the house of bread. At least there are flowers out here. I try not to talk about them, you know, but sometimes I just can't help it. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. <laughs> Welcome to the bloody garden district. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Get it off. Sleep. It's important to sleep. This too shall pass, I suppose. I'd better not catch you getting into my stuff. Been a while, hasn't it? Getting enough sleep? It's important to sleep. doing this.
laugh about this later. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. I haven't seen one of those in a while. to see. Bloody hell. I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. Fun. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <coughs> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Stay where I can see you. No one likes a lurker. You're all right. If you find fresh food, don't try to haunt it. I don't know how you feel. Don't swim in the river. You and here we are. Not, catch you getting not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags, I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! Please don't make a fuss. Please just lie down.
It's nothing personal. Who's gonna clean that up? doing this to each other. How do I get down to the tracks? We're not a bloody bed and breakfast. <laughs>
That's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. to board even if I was 10 days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Bloody hell. There's been some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look, oh, it's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. Oh, 
think I won't sniff you out. You're here. I know you're here. away before something starts chasing you. Take all this with you. Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! <laughs> no! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You go mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. What a Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. <laughs> you don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. 
Only dead. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. <laughs> you could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. But if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. I think this is the fountain Sally and I put the fish in. <laughs> we were witty in those days. Gotta drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going.
you're not a bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. Well, it doesn't kill you. I did think I used to run a hundred bases. something away before something starts chasing you. Odd. Why are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that... I think it needs power. Where can I turn on the power?
but this powers that door. I'm waiting for my next visit back here. Mm. Gotta drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going. Take all this with you. When he woke up, 
he realised it had all just been a bad dream. Save a bit for the next minute. Looking to return to the village, are you, sir? That's right. I realize it was a mistake not to take my joy, and I'd like to rejoin civilization. Well, sir, you have come to the opposite place, but I'm afraid it is not the opposite time. The door. Oh, I feel awful. I need a neck survive. Or failing that some tea to make me throw up. Oh. You bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. 
No fucking civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Arthur! Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be stuck, actually. Did you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the General's office? Anyway, you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Let's see that man. Oh. Ollie's sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate.
Sorry to bother. If I polish my boots one more time, I'm gonna end up with sandals. I'm just saying, maybe we should recruit. So bloody ah. Ah. Now we see the violence inherent in the system. 